everyone, and welcome to the Arthur Murray Lifestyle Series. I'm Victoria Regan, the Global Ambassador for Arthur Murray International. We have an amazing gentleman whom we are honoring in this episode. He started out with a love for dance, but has gone on to become one of our own franchisees and motivational speakers. He's full of passion, joy, and well, just observe for yourself and you can define the remainder of the adjectives well-deserved. Hello to Martin Barthold. Wow, thank you very much, Victoria. I have, I'm beyond words uh, uh, to be put in this situation, to be talking about lifestyle, oh my God, knowing where I came from and to be picked and one of the, the people that, 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 that do this presentation, it means a lot to me. Speaking of where you came from, what was it like growing up in Haiti? And is that where you got all that passion from, Martin? I don't want anyone to feel pity for me, but uh, uh, um, the, the, the childhood was not, was not an easy one. But if I have to talk about it, uh, I, I don't mind at all. It was difficult, you know. Uh, uh, I, lost my, I lost my dad when I was uh, 19. My mom pretty much left us when I was 13. So pretty much I was, we, we grew up without mom and dad. And uh, it was very difficult in the street of Haiti. Uh, uh, our friends and families that were there are pretty much the one that guided us. Uh, thank God that my mom, before she left, she had put some structure uh, uh, into us, some kind of some kind of discipline that kind of allowed us even when we were by ourselves. But when you are eating mango for dinner and not really good mango, I'm talking about bad mango. You know, the mango that when you go and get them that they are the, the worst of the worst mango. And, and when is that that you're eating for dinner? And then to now, to be in the United States, to be able to, to, be able to offer sushi, lobster, Listen, if you are not passionate, I, I don't know what will get you passionate. I remember when uh, when I was working and I was working at a bank and which is just what we call a prestige job in Haiti. But I was so passionate about my dancing and I wanted to do it so much that I quit I quit my banking job and I was dancing. And my mom thought I was crazy and most of my friends uh, thought I was totally cuckoo for doing so because I was getting paid a thousand dollars, Haitian dollars, and then to now I wanted to go dancing and get paid a hundred dollars. Uh, 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 even me, I can tell you to be tell you the truth, I thought that I was losing my mind. Uh, but we did it for the passion of the dance and uh, look where I'm at today. I'm talking to you and I'm one of the representative, representative of Otto Murray. I own a dance studio in the United States. Uh, I, 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 I'm out of words. So from a banker to a dancer and on to the USA, who was your inspiration and guided you through those first few years? I have to give kudos to Emmanuel Piantuan because he was the first person that really inspired me uh, 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 to become a better dancer. You know, and one inspired me to wanting to be uh, a, a, a great dancer. And uh, he supported me a lot. And then after that, the next person that really, really got me to where I'm at, it's Bob Powers and Julia Gochakova. Uh, without them, uh, uh, Bob gave me my first job. Bob gave me my second job. Bob gave me my third job. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and plus he inspired us. When Emmanuel and I, we were sitting in Caminito, we were sitting on the floor watching Bob and Julia dance. It was a dream. It, it's not, it's not, it wasn't even a dream. It was something that we were just watching and, and I don't know. We were, we didn't even, we couldn't even dream what we're having, uh, what we have happening to us right now. And right now to be a great friend of Bob, for him to support me and, 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 and to be there for me and to have guided me in my professional dancing. I, I really, and, and I truly, I truly want to say thank you to him. And he's the one that guided me to the studio that I am, I, I'm at today and give me that opportunity to own the studio today. So thank you, Bob. Thank you, Julia, for inspiring the world, not just me, because they were the one that kind of changed the United States uh, 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 dancing. And, and, and I think a great kudos to them for that. If I understand correctly, Martin, you took over the Sherman Oak studio in 2011 and developed a system called the Four Pillars of Relationship. You also created a mission statement saying that you wanted to have the World Disney of Dance in Southern California. We're going to take a look at a short segment of your training video where you talk about those two things.
Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Martin Barthold, and ours are four pillars of relationship. The first one is trust. The first one, the second one is respect. The third one is loyalty. And the first, the fourth one is communication. I wanted us to be the Walt Disney of dance. I feel like that sounded good. And I sit down with the staff. I talk to them about it. I ask them about their opinion. And I think that we come up with, we want to be the Walt Disney of dance for us, which is being the Disneyland of dance for us, which is being uh, on the number one reference in Southern California. So trust, loyalty, communication, and respect. No matter what, when they make a mistake, I'm still gonna treat them with a lot of respect. And when I make a mistake, I want them to treat me with respect. So those are my four pillars of, rela uh, of relationship that I think that's been working for me. Uh, one of the things that Zig Ziglar said that I kinda, I kinda love and I kinda try to carry with me. Uh, don't try to only be a great owner because you can be a great owner and then be a bad husband. And uh, I, I, at that point of my life, I, I needed to be not just a great dancer. I wanted to be a great dancer. I needed to be a great owner. And I also needed to be a great husband. So that's what I think that the pillar of relationship, it's not so much only for dancing, it's for life. So anyone that is part of your life, you should respect. You should have great communication with. You should be loyal and they should be loyal to you. And then they should trust you and you should be able to trust them. And when you have that, whoa, I don't know. I think that's a great recipe for success. It sounds like you've taken great pride in all those roles, but I imagine particularly in the role as a husband. How would you describe your wife, Daniela, and your son, Mile? She is what you call the engine. I'm just the face and the noise. Uh, I'm just the face and the noise, but she is the engine. She is the glue that keeps all of us together. Uh, uh, she works at home. Uh, she's been working at home for, for a while now. But like everyone knows, Martin is just the noise maker. Uh, uh, the real business owner is her. She's the one running everything together. Uh, 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 I'm just lucky and blessed to have her in my life because without her, I don't think that I even even be able to be say and that I'm I'm successful. Maybe I wouldn't even be able to be talking to you today because her guidance and uh, in life and and, and and keeping me on track behind every single great man there is a great woman and and she is she is the power. My son, oh my God, and 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 and, and my relationship. I, I think that I should have had my son 20 years earlier. Uh, the level of happiness, uh, having a family, the level of happiness in raising him. And actually everything, like I said to you, it's a, it's a, it's a blessing in, in disguise. This pandemic time has made me spend so much time with him that normally I wouldn't spend because I would be at work. So I wouldn't even know what it is to spend time waking up with my son, working with my son in the morning and cherish him on a, on a daily basis, looking at him, looking at me with that love. There, there is nothing else better than that and uh, and i thank my wife for that for giving me that uh, that uh, that bundle of joy uh, uh everything changed you know uh, uh um i am a better man i'm in a better place because of him and because of them who is martin barthold and what is your personal mission i'm a man of service um i feel like maybe i'm crazy but i i, I really feel like my job is important and uh, I want to leave a legacy behind when I'm gone Ooh. for people to remember me, uh, remember what I have done for the community, uh, remember my passion and I work every day on that and uh, when someone talk about me, I want them to talk about me in a good way, I want them to talk about me in a positive way. And. Uh, that's my goal in life. And like with Disney, dreams do come true. Tell us about the one major question that Arthur Murray International asked you when you decided you wanted to become a franchisee. It was always one of dream, one of the dream of mine. When I set up and started with, with this company that we were working on, they asked me, what is, what is your dream in the, next, in, the next, in the next three to four years? I said, I wanna be a trainer, one of the people that are speaking for Arthur Murray. And, and, and to get it come to tuition, to get him to come to, to, to life today, it, it, it's more than an, than an honor. It's more than a dream. Oh my God, Martin, I heard from Victoria how big of a shot you're becoming in the automotive industry. I cannot tell you how jealous I am of that. Anyway, buddy, I'm just joking. You know how much I love you and everything you're becoming in this industry. I think you earned it with your sense of dignity love, passion, and your desire to serve. 
You've been working hard and you deserve it. I love you, buddy. Martin, I believe you've given us so much inspiration and joy through this conversation. I thank you, we thank you for sharing your smile and your passion and pride for the Arthur Murray lifestyle. Until we see you in person, bye. Your smile made it easy, Victoria. It was such an honor. It was such a pleasure to spend this morning with you. Uh, uh, your interview was great. Your question your, it was great. Your energy was great. It, you make me feel very comfortable, and I couldn't be more honored to do this interview with you. You are, you are a delight. So thank you very much for that. I also want to thank all of you watching and supporting the Arthur Marie Lifestyle Series. I wish you well and stay safe.